they greet them with that word shalom, which means peace. In the Muslim community, when they come across members of their faith, they greet them with the same word, assalamu alaikum, which means peace. In my culture, I come from the eastern part of Nigeria, where the people call the Igbos. Yes. Yes. And I do have some Igbos here. Yes. yes. When you come to the home of an Igbo person, <laughs> they give you a small piece of cool, a knot. Yes. It's called the Kola knot. Yeah. No meeting starts without the breaking of Kola knots. Yeah. That little knot signifies is a symbol of peace, is a symbol of acceptance. Yes. If you reject the color knot, you reject your host. In the Gospels, Jesus identifies his followers as peacemakers. And he instructs them by these words. Whatever house you go into, you should first say peace to this house. And so I bring you greetings today. Peace to everyone here. Peace. Yes. Peace to London. Yes. Peace to the United Kingdom. Yes. The last few weeks have been marked by legitimate peaceful protests all over the country. Last week in front of the town hall, we had one. And yesterday, three lovely Croydon girls, Jess, Kathleen, and Rebecca had a peaceful demonstration here in Croydon. And each and every one of them carries the same message. That we have come and we have come to stand together from different communities to say out and aloud that together we are stronger. Yes, that's true. Amen. Amen. Through these demonstrations and coming together, we can truly say that there is no hiding place anymore in our society for injustice towards others based on the color of their skin. No place whatsoever to treat black lives as if they do not matter. No place whatsoever for hatred and racial injustice. Can I also place, say this, no place whatsoever to tear down national monuments and statues without proper dialogue and discussions where we expect politicians to listen and all sides to come together. We have uncovered the evil that exists in our society with truth. Truth is powerful and it prevails. We have had our storms. And we now say to the raging storms, in the words of our Lord and Savior, be still, peace, be still. Black lives matter. Every life matters. But if you have never been a victim of racial injustice and economic inequality, you won't understand how painful it is. Our pain is real. That's true. It hurts. Yes. It hurts to see people treated in the way that Judge Floyd was treated. In the wise counsel of Mayor Angelou, the poet and American civil activist, you may not control all the events that happen to you, or you can decide not to be reduced by them. We are offering our politicians, our police, civil servants, the NHS, the opportunity to respond positively to the issues that have been raised by the protesters. These are genuine concerns born out of pain. We look forward to that sort of engagement. But let us be straight to the point to the politicians. If you fail to listen, we will exercise our rights through our peaceful elections to bring about change. 
to my people in the struggle, let us once again be reminded of these words by President Barack Obama. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. People make mistakes for which they reform and make amends. Life is not the absence of mistakes, but more about what we do afterwards. Every fall, everyone falls down now and again. The real strength comes from not staying down, but rising up again. The Apostle Paul had a terrible past. He used to persecute Christians. He used to kill Christians. And yet, after his life was turned around, he ended up writing most of the epistles in the New Testament. Do we now go back to our Bibles and rip out the pages of those beautiful epistles? No. Paul is a man who shows us that we can reform for the better. Organizations and institutions also make mistakes. Some of the church was actually involved in slavery in the past. We have a constant reminder, and I had to take our children when they were younger to show them the atrocities that were committed when we visited Elmina Castle in Ghana. It is there to show that our boat was the church, but the dungeon where slaves were kept, they were under. But thank God, with time and better knowledge and understanding, the church has changed. Today, the church is a uniting, healing, and reconciling people. The church is doing good works all over the world. Statues can remind us sometimes of the pains of the past, but when those same people who perpetrated evil turn around to do good, like the Apostle Paul, we should remember the good that they did. We may not agree with certain things, but the best way to bring about those necessary changes is to talk. Let us address the economic imbalance, peace, and goodwill to each and every one of you. Peace and goodwill to London. Peace and goodwill to Croydon. Peace and goodwill to Great Britain. God bless you. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to ask Bishop Jonathan and Bishop Paul. And we're going to pray together the prayer that brings together all Christian people of all churches. The prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Can everybody clap your hands real loud? Come on, quiet, let me stick together. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Catholic Bishop, Anglican Bishop. And the same pulpit, I love that. I love that. I'm going to do a consultation with the Catholic Bishop after we've got a meeting, Catholic Bishop. I'm going to tell you how to sell patty and cocoa bread after service. <laughs> I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work with you in the church talk shop. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work with you. Don't worry, but I'm going to work with you, alright? Alright, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we've got a special announcement. In Croydon, sadly, 